the stay in Zimbabwe this hour where relief for commuters in the capital is on hand now since the first COVID-19 lockdown early last year there are transport issues in the capital of Zimbabwe because the government banned commuter omnibuses known as Kumbis and gave the state-owned Zimbabwe United Passenger Company the power to run and control urban transport. Now the very old urban commuter train services have been resuscitated. Correspondent for ENCA in Harare, Pindai Dube reports. Long winding queues are common at most terminuses in Harare and other cities since the scrapping of commuter omnibuses and the introduction of big buses by Zupco. This week, commuter train services with very old coaches run by the state-owned National Railways of Zimbabwe in partnership with Zupco were launched and have come as a relief to commuters in the capital. <laughs> I see right now to look for it. No kuti chili chipa plus the time I show Dora Munzira. I just hang on my gym. Can I make congestion? She no go far, but nearly near to Akanaka. Ingwa diki ono skam town. Some say they used it to spend many hours in the queues for buses. Tanga chifambani buzz, but the buzz is real. Tanga tisinga atisiku kwa na tesi. Trugu zobudam town usiku. Commuters say traveling on the commuter omnibuses was also unpleasant sometimes. The urban commuter train services used it to run about 15 years ago during former President Robert Mugabe's time, but it didn't last long. Pindai Dube, Harare, Zimbabwe.